A particle is moving along the parabola given by f of x equals x squared. So that's f of x equals x squared. At time t seconds, its position is denoted by a of t comma b of t. So that point is the position of the particle at time t, measured in centimeters. At the moment, when the particle is at the point 2, 4, the first coordinate, a of t, increases at the rate of 3 centimeters per second. Okay, so let's put that information. So the rate of a, so at 2, 4, the rate of a, which is the derivative, is equal to 3 centimeter per second. Okay, and we are interested in find, finding the velocity of the second coordinate b of t at the same at that same moment, which is at 2, 4. So find b prime of t, the rate of b at 2,4. As always, for the related rates problem, we want to find the relationship between the rates of one quantity with another. To be able to do that, we need to find the relationship between these two quantities. Okay, how can we find the relationship between A and B? So remember that this A of t and b of t is a coordinate, is a point on the parabola. So since a of t, b of t is on the parabola y equals x squared, then this point satisfies this equation and b of t is equal to a of t squared now in order to be able to find the relationship between the rates of a and the rates of b we just need to take the derivative of both sides with respect to t so b prime of t so be careful we need to use the chain rule here twice of a of t times a prime of t. So then at 2 comma 4 we have b prime of t is equal to 2 times so I remember that a of t is the first coordinate and at 2 comma 4 the first coordinate is 2 so a of t is 2 and a prime of t is 3. So therefore, b prime of t is 12, and the units is in centimeter per second. So that's the answer for the rate of b at 2, 4. Okay, let's look at the second part of the problem. So in this problem, we are interested in finding the rate of the distance between the point A of t, B of t to the origin. Okay, so first we need to set up the distance function. Okay, D of t is equal to the distance between a of t comma b of t to 0 comma 0. By the distance formula we have a of t squared plus b of t squared. Okay, we can square both sides to make the derivative easier. Well, actually, another way is we can right away use the Pythagorean. 
so remember that's d of t and here we have b of t and over here we have a of t so by Pythagorean we have d of t squared equal a of t squared plus b of t squared okay, let's continue now take the derivative with respect to t equals twice a of t a prime of t plus twice b of t b prime of t okay let's check we know a of t so at at 2 comma 4 we know that a of t is 2 b of t is 4 a prime of t is given a prime of t is 3 and b prime of t is 12 so the only information that we don't know yet is d of t so first we need to find d of t at 2 comma 4 so at 2 comma 4 if we look at this triangle at 2 comma 4 this side is 2 and the height is 4 so we have a right triangle where the two sides are 2 and 4 and the hypotenuse is d of t so at 2 comma 4 d of t squared is 4 squared plus 2 squared which is 20 so d of t is square root of 20 now we have all the information and we can plug in to that equation so 2 times square root of 20 d prime of t twice of a of t and at 2 comma 4 a of t is 2 a prime of t is given which is 3 2 times b of t b of t is 4 and we have b prime of t from the first part of the the problem which is 12 so let's simplify the right hand side 12 plus 96 which is 108 therefore d prime of t is 108 divided by twice square root of 20 108 4 times square root of 5 now we can simplify a little bit 100 divided by 4 is 2 7 and we can multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 5 to rationalize the denominator so we have 27 over 5 square root of 5 and what is the unit the unit is so the distance is measured in centimeters so then the rate will be centimeter per second and also for the same for b i mean yeah b of t here the rate of b all right that's all for today